What's up, loser pool? I'm just kidding. What's up, YouTube? Today we'll be breaking down Smack City versus Loser Pool. That's AKA right. AKA Manchester City versus Liverpool. <laughs> Guardiola makes three changes, uh, but he keeps the back four and the goalkeeper the same with Kevin De Bruyne coming back into that midfield. They shape into a midfield three as opposed to. Here we have the starting 11 that Smack Liverpool. <laughs> uh, do you think anything had to do with Helena being here? Nah, definitely not. If he was there, it would have been worse. Why not? <laughs> Midfield four, and up front, the league leading goal scorer, uh, Holland. Name how many big teams uh, Holland has scored on. Not quite fit for this match, so Alvarez starts up top in the number nine role. He'll operate slightly differently, more as a false nine, but we'll still get in the box, and he's very goal dangerous. But on the right hand side, Foden ruled out uh, for the season after having surgery for appendicitis. Mares, he's had a really good season, good balance. Five. Ronaldo or no, I'm kidding. Goals for assists. Well, Klopp's back four, and goalkeeper named themselves really. Captain Jordan Henderson comes back into the midfield for. These are the starting eleven that got a beating. By Chetich, he's out for the season. Harvey Elliott has appeared in all 40 games for Liverpool. Incredible stat for him, uh, the young midfielder, and Fabinho, of course, just at the base of that midfield. Team that be um, United 7-0, and thought they were gonna come back against Madrid. Holding things together up top, Cody Gakpo four goals in his last six Premier League games, and of course, Mighty Mo Salah. He enjoys playing against City. He's scored in each of the last three games versus Man City this season. A watching brief, 42 goals, sitting on a plastic blue seat. Liverpool's sights now are set lower, but their need to win is absolutely as acute. So they are both obliged, Graham. One of the, the fundamental factors here. Neither of them played against uh, Morocco in Tangier last Saturday. It's Mahrez. To Bruyne. By Van Dijk, cushioned by Mares, and hit by Rodri. And listen behind it. Yeah, more fantastic football and awareness from City. Lovely flick on by De Bruyne to free Mares up and not able to get the ball over Van Dijk, who's in an excellent position. It's Mares. Who perfect in terms of height. Video. Alexander Arnold shot is on his way. Gak close alongside. It is Diogo Jota. And it's Mo Salah! Oh, first. Who rifles Liverpool? No, they actually scored first. First blood. Dude, Mo he, Salah. Just, he just took him with freaking just by body in the ball, dude. <laughs> Nothing special, just body the ball. I guess Marcelo score. I bet you they were thinking they were gonna score seven here. <laughs> Klopp reluctant to celebrate until there is ultimate confirmation because Schotter may have been borderline there. He held his run, he went early. See him there on the edge of the, uh, the center circle. He just stops there and then he goes. He's onside. It's a Kanji, but below or behind him, I should say, that plays him on. And this is a fantastic reward for, for their patience. <laughs> Mo Salah takes a chance. Jota's in, he wants to go by himself. A Kanji does well to recover. And he just gets him off balance there with that little tug. The ball falls really kindly, but that assist was a substantial one. Here's Gundogan. Flick beyond Alvarez for Morris! Lovely response by City, fantastic football, back to that rhythm. And there's your man again, Gundogan, just such a clever player. De Bruyne, nicking it on here for Mares. Alvarez in the middle, Gundogan alongside. That's Ilkay Gundogan, this is Jack Grealish. Alvarez, 1-1! <laughs> and everyone's bouncing up and down, the big boy himself. 
on behalf of the Dude, why is Callan acting like he scored? He's in the bench. The man who fills his boots. Yeah. I can tell you now, that's why Pep Guardiola comes to work every day to see things like that. What a beautiful, beautiful goal. Absolutely stunning. He gets lucky here, De Bruyne. He just gets a foot on this. I think it goes through Robertson's legs as he tries to intercept intercept it. But then look at this. Mares head up. Gundogan again, who's been sensational. Composure, awareness, two touches, just pivots on the ball, feeds it to Grealish. First time into the box. Alvarez. Look at Trent Alexander Arnold. Yup. Making some great movement. Again, patient in his play. Everything about. Why is he all the way back there? He, I think he's like, I'm gonna. <laughs> it's easier for them to score rather than juking me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is like right there, and Alexander Arnold is like on the edge of the box, keeping Grealish onside. Horrible defending. Again. About this is calmness. <laughs> Tapping in the end, but it's built on such fantastic foundations, this goal. What a lovely team goal that is for City to get back in the game. Kept a clean sheet until today in six of the last eight Premier League games, but failed to score in five of the last nine. Alvarez. Oh, what a smashing ball. And Morris is on to it. And there is De Bruyne! That's a Haaland goal right there. Explosive! Immediate! Champions on a charge! Inside the first... Oh, I don't know City had an Alexander... Um, what's, what's his name? That defender you keep mentioning? Okay. No, Alexander Arnold. Alexander Arnold. City has one too. <laughs> Second half minute. Ake, from behind, Ake. City lead. Oh, that's the name, Ake? Well, that's another lovely goal from a City perspective, but absolutely disastrous from a Liverpool point of view. They're four against three when they go for this ball. Look at four City players all lined up against three really stretched Liverpool players. Some really, three really stretched. I'm going to be honest. If this was Holland, it wouldn't have happened. Why? That pass. Oh, I see. He definitely would have not made that pass. No credit he, to Alvarez. Yeah, I think Haaland would have just take all of them and then even juke the goalie. No, he can go out of the way and score. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool players, some really decent switch, but there's a huge amount of space for him to hit. And then De Bruyne is the wrong side of Van Dijk and the rest of the defence. It's a beautiful ball in by Mares with his right foot, lifts it over Robertson, takes it. Dude, all of them look like pips. <laughs> A mammoth mood changer. Kevin De Bruyne. Rodri. Alvarez. Mares. Riyad Mares. Julian Alvarez. Good to work. Alvarez definitely deserved more props than he's getting. He's making a lot of good plays, scoring, passing. Two of the goals so far right now is already because he was involved. So. Three, three and, uh, actually. Three? And the, good, the first one too. Good pass by Alexander Ar Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. He's still in good form since the World Cup. <laughs> Van Dyke's been making that face a lot this season. <laughs> uh, Liverpool look absolutely hypnotised there where the way City were passing the ball around them moving into changing positions static Liverpool nobody moving contrast that with the blue shirts of Manchester City Alvarez in a tight area moves the ball nice. off its line Alexander-Arnold <laughs> just about does enough to stick a foot out and there's your man Gundogan Gets into the box so well, finds himself in a bit of space, brilliant composure. And that rebound, as a defender, when you hit it, if you're a good defender, you know, you see the rebound, you don't go like this. You don't stay in the same spot going like this. You go straight to the guy to uh, 
block him, even if you're not, you're not gonna go get the ball, you run to him to pressure him instead of mm -hmm. going like this, because then you're still giving him space and time to think, because no one's yep. getting him. And you already give him a good pass too, so you gotta get that back. Exactly. In the middle, it's Andy Robertson for Liverpool. Ake took it away and clashed with Gakpo, who went flying. Dutch you know, knee on Dutch penalty? knee. The referee has given nothing, VAR a checking. And Gundogan's going the other way. Alvarez. Grealish. Jack Grealish! Oh. Alison flew. Yeah, you wonder if, you wonder if that should be a booking. But look who again, Alvarez. Mm -hmm. There for Gakpo, throwing himself to the ground that easily. Simon Hooper's having a word with him now, as is Jack Grealish, whose strike was excellent. No. Tim and Robbie were saying that Grealish needs to bring a few more goals. Here's the uh, the dive. That should be a booking. It wasn't even close to being a penalty. It's the first of eight fixtures in April, including two Champions League quarterfinals against Bayern Munich. That's tasty for Pep Guardiola. An FA Cup semi-final, as well as Liverpool, as mentioned, Arsenal on the April calendar. Here's De Bruyne. And there's Grealish! Time and time again, who was it? Alexander Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> a delicious moment <laughs> which he proudly embraces he has been a delight he is impish he is fun he is bang on target Club is like, Alejandro wow. Allen reminds me of the Maguire at Liverpool this season yeah, I think so. I think that's the app comparison for sure. He, he's he's been the Maguire of Liverpool for a couple of seasons now, actually. Oh really? Then I remember miss... when they lost to Madrid last season. In the final. And this season too. <laughs> <laughs> and Manchester City okay. are pulling stylishly away. Well, that caps a fantastic afternoon's football for Jack Grealish. He's been inspirational. One of the standout players in a City team that has shone so brightly this afternoon. In total control of the game. Lots of passing. Keeping their options open. The game stretching from a Liverpool perspective. You see De Bruyne just cut inside. Takes Alexander-Arnold with him. Then makes a run in behind. Trent Alexander-Arnold's given up. Then makes, if you see De Bruyne just cut. Look how they just went straight to Alexander-Arnold's side. In every play you watch that send a goal, this also has been a long pass first to start to start the attack. Yeah. Which is it's just how Liverpool is not catching anything also, but they know where their weaker side is. Yeah, and when when Grealish controls the ball and he passes it, okay, fine. I understand like it's it's given. It's yeah. gonna go past Alexander Arnold. <laughs> but once he passes it Follow your damn man. He's just jogging back. And, Watch. And I think it's just kind of like Guardiola's like, that guy's dating my daughter. Embarrass him. <laughs> no, Cut inside. <laughs> Takes Alexander-Arnold with him. Yeah. Then makes a run in behind. Yeah, Trent Alexander-Arnold's given up. <laughs> Commentator said Even it. the announcer said he gave up. Looks yeah. like Arnold Salah. That was his man. Yeah, and honestly, your honor's opinion... Does it not look like City scoring way too easy on Liverpool? Yeah. They're not super, they're creative plays, but they're not like, oh, they out of this world type of plays. Mm -hmm. In terms of a recovery run, simple football really from City's perspective. <laughs> the quality, lovely ball, put on a plate and attacked with confidence oh, by I'm Jack back. Grealish and... It's a really lovely goal from his perspective, but it just shows. It's usually Alexander Arnold or Van Dyke that just stands there and doesn't do anything. Well, at this point, by Dyke can't really do much. Yeah. <laughs> City 
is so special, so deliciously smooth. What a team! Liverpool drowned. Uh, I think, um, I think when the coaches shook hands, I think Klopp said to to Guardiola, "Arsenal still looking at you from the top." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was such a smacking look. Their their best players got subbed out. And and again, I guess we just watching the highlights. We didn't watch the game. The game looked boring, and <laughs> it looked like the. It looked like City is just chilling. Exactly in the game. To be honest, you have Ake out here making so many mistakes, and Liverpool not capitalizing on that at all. And then City's passing like they're great like usual, but it's not. Anything crazy that you can't stop, in my opinion. So, you know, they go like this against Nottingham Forest, uh, even Brighton, any of those teams. I understand, but it's Liverpool. Even when Liverpool hasn't been good in the past or at the top five, they still been able to give any first place team, even when United was at its best and other teams were not at its best, in this type of games. They always give them a hard time. In this one, it just seemed like it was Madrid versus Granada. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> it's over 20 point difference between these two teams now. That's crazy. Yeah, 22 points for sure. And points all points. jokes aside, even though no matter how much Trent Alexander-Arnold gives you on offense, that's not what he's there for. He's a right back. He's there to defend. Yeah. And Klopp wants to keep playing him. He deserves everything that's coming for him. Because I would bench him. There's plenty of players that could give you some stuff on offense, but is a way better defender. And then, um, and it, it also from just the uh, previous matches or this season in particular. It looks like Klopp is running out of ideas on how to improve Liverpool. At least from what I've been seeing this season. Yeah. And I think they do definitely need a new coach because they need new ideas. Um, and and I don't know if it had anything to do because I know one of the biggest players that they let go was Mane. But I heard that Mane wasn't treated that good. So I'm not sure if that was the case. But they need another player who is creative. Right, not not just because right now it just seems that they just, Liverpool is just defense middle forward, but they don't know what they're playing. They just this is our defense, this is the middle, and this are attacking. But there's no, they don't have an identity this this season. I think I mentioned to you guys like in some conversations before. This season shows how crucial Mane was. Exactly. This is what happens. What were they thinking? <laughs> Wanted to pace a lot more. And look, he's got subbed out. And like we mentioned time and time again, players could be great. You know, especially when Salah was probably top of the world. It's really hard for them to keep that pace. And like, that's why we keep saying this. That's why the only ones who have are the GOATs. It's Messi and Ronaldo because they've been able to stay at the top until... Even even now they're not playing their best games, but they also tend to be like the best players of the team. Mm-hmm. Like that that just shows a lot of how the how the consistency of staying at that level is really hard. And for Liverpool, if you look back, Mane was one of the most consistent ones, even when this guy didn't show up. Damn. And Mane would get mad, right? Said. But that's true, and then he would even say, and then he would call out his own teammates, which is what people do when they would make a wrong pass or try to play a fancy instead of making it simple. And Ronaldo would do that a lot in Madrid, and not because you know he was cocky or anything like that. It's just that they see things like, why are you doing it that way when you could play it simple? And an example is the classical when Marcelo should uh, drop Sergio Roberto. And even Ronaldo was like, do the foul. And then what happened? Counterattack and goal by Messi. 
when Marcelo had to do was do this one last one last minute, just drop him. Right. I agree. Right, and, and I think, yeah, that's what um, I agree with that too. Like, and that's what annoys me about Alexander Arnold as well. Like, if you can't, you know, stop him, do something. You know, like. They can't keep on going like this. And I agree with you, Eddie. Like, Klopp is definitely running out of ideas. I think they've tried everything and it's just not working anymore. Everybody's just exhausted. And and this is... I think Klopp did... Klopp brought the best out of them that he could. And now it's just... This is it. Like, if they're not improving, nothing's changing, then they, they, it's just going to be... They're just gonna keep being like this, in my opinion. So and to end, oh, okay. I wanted to mention that there's there's no hard feelings. Klopp has to bench Trent Alexander Arnold. That would mm. solve so much, to be honest. Exactly. Just look at United, y'all. Like, look at United. They bench Maguire, and now they're doing better. You know, slowly but surely. Now he is that dude. They even sold Ronaldo. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> but but they like, clean the house. <laughs> at, at this point, you can't really blame Trent. At this point, it's all clock because he keeps on playing him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the last thing I'll say, just to end this before we go keep going on, you know, this not tangent, but just explaining more. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Atletico with Simeone. Simeone. You know, they're still doing good, but they kind of just stayed there. You know, like, th- we already saw their best. Mm-hmm. Uh, they could still be second, third, but I'm not seeing the same level that they used to in the past. Yeah. And it says a lot when Griezmann is, again, their best player again. When Griezmann is not, he's a great player, but he's not, like, yeah. all that great compared to others. He had his moment once at a uh, some point but not not anymore at least for me yeah but anyways like and subscribe don't hate us <laughs> bye guys